Continuing the uh, I don't like confrontation run with Uprising. This is going to be the shortest run in the game. Quite a change from Gravemind. Um, this one's under five minutes. So, uh, as you can see, just doing a jump up and sword cancel. This part right here, you really don't need to get that carbine, but because you can actually pick it up later. But it's just nice to add, I guess, just in case. So I, I grab it. Doesn't take that much to grab. Um, up here, you're gonna do a sword cancel, and right away you're gonna cloak, so you can get past those two brutes, or else they'll take you out pretty quick. Same with the jackals, so you gotta cloak pretty quick. Once you get in here, you usually don't get too much problems. You can just <clears throat> those two guys will stay back. The jackal kind of sometimes stays behind you and keeps shooting at you, so you gotta gotta watch for that. Um, by the time you get down here, your cloak should be recharged, so you can just go past that guy. As you can see right there, there was the carbine you can pick up. It sometimes too you'll find a fuel rod. Uh, cannon right there. If you do, you can just grab that because you don't want to grab it. There's one right there. So we're gonna grab that one. Usually when you get in here, those guys don't follow you out. I don't know why that guy decided to this time, but... And I'm just taking the... Again, I'm probably wasting a lot of time here. You don't have to keep swapping weapons and moving them up here. I just do it because at the end of the level, you want to keep your carbine and your sword on you. So just in case the well, your ally doesn't show up or he jumps off a cliff or gets blown off a cliff or whatever, um, at least you have it there to grab. I believe that was all of them. They are and I'm just giving him the fuel rod cannon. As he has unlimited ammo. Now down here where I'm pointing, as soon as you get up here, they're going to start flying in, but um, off to right there. Usually right now the, the sniper jackal comes in, and you want to take him out first because he's going to aim right for your head right away. There he is right there. You can see I took him out, but he's he's the big one you gotta worry about. And after that's the the sh the uh, the shots that come flying at you from some of those guys. Amazingly, I kept one guy alive. Usually, they're all dead by this time. Yeah, whatever. Um, so up here, uh, you're going to grab a ghost, and you're going to go backwards. You're not going to see the checkpoint, because I had took me a couple tries to, to do this uh, ghost jump. But uh, you're going to want to go backwards until you see the checkpoint, which is right here. And then um, then you can keep trying to do this trick, because this, this one usually takes a couple tries to do, especially if you're not used to it. The easiest way to do it is when that when you throw that grenade, you kind of time it so we, you're actually getting on that ghost and the ghost is actually lifting up while the grenade is going off. It actually gets you a little more height. And then going off the side here, just try to stay upright as much as you can and then go to the end of the thing. And I've died so many times where you'll see right on this clip, you'll f end up falling in the ghost. And if you see that in the background, it's going to make you do it all over again. Well, not all over, but back to that last checkpoint. And that's kind of frustrating to get that spot exactly right. By the ring. But that's it. The counselors, are they murdered by the brutes? Violently slain. 